No, your eyes do not deceive you. This is a Wi-Fi battle. This is actually a test battle. Well, it's a battle, but uh, I'm just testing out how my webcam actually handles an X and Y battle, so uh, bear with it, I guess. But this is a battle against Magnitude. He uploaded this on his channel. Excuse me if I don't sound too excited, because uh, I've been dealing with uh, sore throat and stuff, as per usual. So, this is a battle against Magnitude. We decided to have an X and Y battle last night. Uh, he's going to lead off with Agis Shield, and I'm going to lead off with uh, Halucha, my T-Hawk. I went for a fling, but he went for the King uh, King's uh, King Shield. But one thing I didn't know is through King Shield, if you do fling, it does fling your item, and it doesn't really give you any notice that uh, you did throw your item at him. So I went for a fling again, and uh, it said it failed because I had no item. And uh, he's just went for the Night Slash as I switch out. He's going to go for another King Shield as I switch out into my uh, Pangoro and try and take him off with a crunch, or try to hit him with at least a crunch. But uh, he's going to go ahead and switch out himself and go into his own uh, Chestnut. Uh, Chestnut, I know, is fighting, so he's going to resist the uh, initial... Um, oh, actually, no, I didn't go for crunch. I actually went for Parting Shot predicting his switch because he didn't want to stay in and take a crunch. So... I go for the parting shot, it's kind of a dark U-turn, just drop his attack and special attack and figure I might as well bring in my uh, Delphox and hopefully hit him with the flamethrower or actually go for a will o -Wisp, but I'm actually going to miss and he's going to hit me with a bite, but since he's minus one, it's not going to do a whole lot of damage. It does about, uh, I say about 25% maybe, but uh, leftover is going to bring me up a bit and he knows that he's not going to want to take a flamethrower or anything and so I'm just gonna go for a flamethrower just to hit him in case he does want to stay in and fodder it but he's gonna go into his uh well uh, whatever the fuck that thing is named Florgas or whatever the fairy type that's a flower I'm um, gonna hit him with a flamethrower gonna get the burn there so gonna get some residual damage thanks to that uh not sure really what he can do to me I know he's fairy type and I know I resist fairy type since I am psychic so I figure I might as well just go for a calm mind just to see what he wants to do uh, if anything, maybe his status, or I guess hit me with an attack, but I'm not really sure what these things do, because I never really ran into them much, or, uh, well, this is my first ever X and Y battle, so I have no idea what the fuck this thing does. So he hits me with Moonblast, which is a very tight move, I resist because I'm psychic, so I'm not too worried about that. I'm going to go ahead and set up another Calm Mind, since I know, I guess that's his only attack to hit me with, so... Uh, I'd stay in, hopefully set up a Calm Mind, and maybe I can get a little sweep going on with, uh... Del Fox since uh, I can, you know, hit a lot of his team for pretty good damage. So, uh, set up a second Calm Mind and uh, see that he goes for a Wish. Uh, I'm not too really worried about the Wish, because uh, I know, like, if I get enough Calm Minds up, I can probably still one-shot it if I need to, since uh, my Del Fox... Well, well, then again, this is my in-game team, and none of these guys have been EV trained, so most of these guys, like, I never did... I didn't do super training with them until later on, until I knew what that he had to unlock all the super training stuff so uh if you looked at all their ev st uh, or spreads on their uh super training thing it'd be kind of ridiculous because they have stats all over the place um so he's gonna bring a noiburn after i take out his uh flower fairy thing with the uh the size shock he's gonna bring a noiburn and i know i i thought this thing was like psychic Dragon or something like that, so I figured I'd just go for the Psy Shock, I believe I go for, and uh, he hits me with a Shadow Ball, and does a decent amount of damage, considering I do have plus two Calm Mind, but then I have, like, I have Bulk somewhere, I don't, I'm not exactly sure what the EV spread on, well, I'm not even talking about EV spread, it's just a scattered shitstorm of everything, so, um, and take it out with one Psy Shock, he's gonna bring in Klot, uh, Klotzer, and I kind of forgot that, uh, Steve's been going on a rampage about uh, how, uh, Timid Scarf Klotzer is, a uh, making its comeback, so he's going to easily outspeed me and demolish me with a water pulse regardless of the plus two uh, special defense I had, so stab water pulse with the mega uh, mega pulse boost is pretty dope, so uh, I have a claw through myself, and yeah, I have water pulse on it too, so I'm going to go to Holucha, I'm not even going to bother doing a high jump kick or any short sort of shit shenanigans since I know edge shield's still here and I don't want to crash into the ground, so I'm just going to go for acrobatics just to you get a pitiful amount of damage off on this thing because I really have nothing to do with this. Do deal with this Agile Shield outside of my Del Fox and my own Agile Shield, so it's, uh, that's kind of a thing. So I'm going to bring in um, my my own Clots or Claudia, and I do not have Dark Pulse on this thing because uh, I don't think I was at. I forgot. I'm at like level 52 on this thing, so I don't know what level it does learn Dark Pulse at, but uh, apparently that's a thing, so hopefully I'll get that sooner or later. So, um,. I think my move sets on this thing was like Toxic, Sludge Bomb, Water Pulse, Ice Beam, just because I didn't really have anything to put on it. So, 
Uh, yeah, that's an issue. Since my only move to hit this thing is with Water Pulse, and as you saw, Water Pulse isn't going to do jack diddly to Edge Shield, or Edge Slash. I don't know why I call him Edge Shield. He's Edge Shield when he's in King Stance, when he's in the Shield form. I call him Edge nah, I guess. He's more Edge Slash when he's in uh, his, uh, sword, or Blade Stance, or whatever they want to call it. Uh, he's going to hit me with, uh, I believe that was just another Night Slash. It's not doing a whole lot of damage, but then again, my... Water pulses aren't going to be doing much, and I think he's going to go for the uh, King Shield again, and that will drop my special attack minus two. I think it drops both attacks minus two, so I might as well just switch out into uh, my Pangoro and maybe get a crunch off on this thing in time. So he's going to go ahead and uh, King Shield, and it's mostly going to fail because, you know, nothing's attacking him, but he still gets to stay a switch, so, which is beneficial to him since it's going to help him take this crunch a lot better than him just being in uh, Sword Stance or Blade Stance, whatever the fuck they want to call it. Uh, so he's going to go ahead and stance change, and uh, I believe I here I find out that he doesn't have sword, uh, Sacred Sword, or he would have went for it, so uh, he's just keeps going for Night Slash and has King Chill, so I'm not really sure what other two moves are. I'm pretty sure he would have uh, Shadow Sneak on it, but Shadow Sneak is kind of resisted because I'm dark. Um, so... He's going to switch stances again, and uh, King Shield is going to protect him from Crunch, and then he's going to get the after effect since I did hit him while he was in his sword stance, so I th think that's, yeah, yeah, it's at the end of this turn, so my attack harshly falls since I, I get, because I hit him with the uh, Crunch before, so that's a thing. I'm not really sure how King Shield really works since my own Agis Shield, I didn't know Dow Blade had a evolve form, a third form, until later, and then when I did evolve him with the Dust Stone, it was at level 54, so he doesn't know King Shield yet, but I got a heart skill, so I'll go back and teach him. So, he's going to bring in his um, Chestnut and Power Up Punch is coming my way. Uh, well, I knew a fighting move was coming up, but, uh, and I'll, I'm guessing Power Up Punch is the choice of options since it's such a real it's such a good move it's you know it's base 40 it's like mock punch but for the priority but you get a plus one attack boost it's just so good uh ice beam is going to do a bunch of damage i think he said he had that vest or whatever on it that you know protects it raises his special defense i think or whatever i don't know the name of it i haven't gotten it yet so whatever um take me up with another power plus uh power power up punch so he's at plus one because i did the parting shot on him again i power Harding shot at him twice, but uh, I'm just going to go for the acrobatics again, just because I know he has three Pokemon left, and it hits all of them. Or no, he has four Pokemon. His This is the third one, his Scizor, his Mega. Oh yeah, if you didn't realize on my team, I don't have any Mega Pokemon. Uh, the Lucario that they gave me in-game, I didn't use. I have a Blastoise that I didn't really use, and uh, yeah, I don't really have any Megas yet. So I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'll have some, I'll have some Megas later on. But, uh, this is gonna go for a high jump kick. I think I went for a high jump kick there, or did I go for acrobatics? I can't remember. I'm just trying to get damage on this Scizor, since I have nothing to deal with the Scizor outside of, actually, none of my Pokemon, none of my folks that I have handle Scizor really well. So, I think I decided to switch out here, since I see he's going for Bullet Punch, and he's getting pretty low, and I do have Agis Shield, and he can resist the Bullet Punch, plus I have Rocky Helmet, so I'm hoping that's bringing him low enough. But uh, I know that he has a uh, pursuit, and I am in shield form, so I know the damage will be reduced, and I know I can live it, and Rocky Helmet will kill him. So this time I'm gonna go for a Swords Dance of my own to try and get another sweep going. Hopefully, start killing something. So, but <clears throat> a pursuit brought me down to a damage where I'm kind of for uh, brought me low enough to where I'm kind of forced my hand. Where I know this thing's gonna have Dark Pulse because uh, uh, apparently that's a thing. So. Um, I'm going to go for the Shadow Sneak, because I don't think I can take a Dark Pulse regardless of being in uh, Shield Stance with how little HP I had. I think I have like under half, so um, I don't quite take out the Colossor, because Colossor has really good base defense. He's, he's all around pretty decent Pokemon. I think he's underrated. He's one of my favorite water, one of my favorite, uh, you know, 6th gen pokes along with Agishield, or Agislash. I don't know why I keep saying Agis Shield. Agis, Agis Slash, Klotzer, and Halucha are probably like three of my favorite Pokemon in Gen 6. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and go for the Crunch uh, since it hits all of them and it is stab. Might as well just try and get some damage going. But here's where Klotzer starts ringing in and starts firing Hadoukens down my face. So uh, he's going to go for the Aura Sphere. He's charging up his Hadouken and he's going to lay it all over Pangoro. And, and it's so funny just watching Pangoro and um, my Tyrantrum get hit by... 
get hit by Aura Sphere and just watch your HP deplete faster than Shedinja getting hit by rocks. It's just retarded how fast uh, the damage depletes. Hopefully, hopefully uh, later on when we find out with Chansey and Blissey, you know, those big HP pokes, if they get hit by a super effective move and it's going to be a one-hit KO, they're, we don't have to sit there for like five minutes watching their HP drain and not sit there and just waste time. So, do not fire off another Aura Sphere. Tyrantrum does not stand a chance since he has piss poor special defense and I don't even know what his EV or his nature was or whatever. I don't really it doesn't really matter. But that was a good game. Came down to a 1-0, uh down to Klotzer, putting the team on his back for Steve. So that was a good match. Uh this will just be a test. Let me know what you guys think and I will catch you guys later. Cheers.